Okay. With a hashtag this time. I <laughs> know oh, it's bloody interesting, isn't it? <laughs> I'm glad you're confused because I found it confusing the first time. I mean, I'm still finding it confusing. Yes, I hear it twice. Yeah, I did exactly the same as I did first time, and just this time I went through and said, yep, yeah, public broadcast. I've got a viewer. That'd be you. Oh, okay. Settings, can I now invite? No. Uh, cancel that. There's the invite button. Let's try your name again. Mike C. Fang. Hangout. Inviting. So, invitation's gone. Okay. You've joined. All right, I'll hang up the phone. All right. So Alison shouldn't go through that grief because she won't know anything else. That's right. She'll just follow the buttons. And so that comes through on the top of your Google Plus, does it? Yeah, yeah. I'll just put the phone away now and we'll talk in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> he does for holding this inanimate object to your ear for no reason. Now yeah, I'm right. going to try recording this with Snaps Pro, my favourite way of recording Skype calls and things, just to see what joys and or horrors await us. Mm -hmm. When I was in one of these before, we, we all recorded it on a different thing. One did it on YouTube, one did it on screen sh Screener, someone else did it on Jing. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing here, yeah. But because you called the thing, um, it's going to go to your YouTube when it's done, which is really awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, <laughs> for somebody. Well, in terms of not having to have someone post-produce and do all that shit, it's a lot of work. Takes a long time to do all that stuff. Well, it does, but the quality obviously is not brilliant. Oh, I, what do you mean not brilliant? That's, uh, well, it depends on what you're doing, hey. Yeah, where's the quality going to get reduced compared to what I would do with a, recording a Skype call? I think it's identical. What's the name of the one that you're using? Uh, Snaps Pro. 10. Snaps Pro, is that a Mac tool? Probably is, hey. How do I feel? I might go for, I'll go for the, the party hat. Yeah. Let's see if that freaks Alison out. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? Well, look, in, in 1998, Bat Stevens and I used to teach in a place called the Palace, and we used to do this kind of stuff. Yeah. Put on glasses and masks on a on a two D avatar. Avatar, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Actually, I found a course from 1997 on MUDs and... and, and Moos. Moos. MUDs and Moos. Yeah. The old text-based adventure game where it all started. And uh, we thought they were fantastic. Well, they kind of were. And it's kind of still, still valid. It's just a bit fancier. Just a bit. So what are we going to do to get Alison's attention, do you think? Well, I'm send her an SMS now. She was um, she said she was doing a presentation. Remember, oh, that's right. she, she suggested this time. Mm -hmm. Now I'm seeing your message on the phone about yeah, is this the new hangout for yeah? Yeah, that was on the old one though. That's not very confusing, is it? So just this public thing, I haven't seen one of these before on air. If I hit play, I guess I should see us all and get vast amounts of feedback. I wonder how clever that is. If you hit play. Yeah, so I'm seeing a, a YouTube window is looking player. Yeah, actually it is YouTube. Yeah, it is. Yes. Well it's but it's you just play oh, videos there. YouTube window is looking so, player. Right, yeah, so that's what you think it would do. Yeah, yeah so, so you're only sending to the world the image of me. That's very kind of you. Well, that's whoever's talking. Is that I how mean, it we, works? We, who you click yeah, on? Yeah, because when I'm talking, you, I'm I'm big. When you're talking, you're in the main window. Really? Where, yeah. Where is that? I'm not seeing that anywhere. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. it's, it's switching all the time. Oh, how clever is that? Well, that's what should happen. And we have to bring up on like a video or oh, a screen okay, share or to, if we want something else to be looked at, we've got to bring up something else. Feel yeah. free. Is that just showing the one? Oh, no. The, okay. Yeah, no. The, the rest of us are down the bottom. It's just hidden. Yeah, I see what's happening. So I can put – you can click on yourself or myself to manually switch between us, right? Uh, down the bottom. You click on those. And you should be controlling what's coming yes. through. I'll just mute yes. my mic for a sec. But I, but it, it is actually the main window is switching according to who's the main talker. You don't see that. I guess that's again because I'm the um, the boss. I'm way confused trying to keep up with the playing back and watching it. But anyway, we'll see what we get at the end. <sighs> So sending Alison a message. Yep. So the idea at an event would be to have it locked on to the presenter screen at the podium, wouldn't it? Just having that laptop on the podium. And then away you go. That's one way to do it. I saw Stephen Downs did that the other day. Yeah, was it all right? No, it was dreadful. It was looking at his <laughs> nose and looking terrible. <laughs> and, it, oh, and he crashed his machine. You try to do too many things, and it just he even crashed PowerPoint in you know, front of a large audience. It's pretty challenging. All right, so to to you, you could either go to screen share or slide share. I'm going to go to. I wonder if in the widgets, I think it had slide share. Yeah, it did yeah, so. Yeah. A new one called Warlight, which I haven't seen before. Now I'm allowing access to SlideShare, but I wonder which SlideShare comes up. Well, today Peter Rawsthorn put up something. Oh, I'm just going to do a search for badges. Okay, Badgeville, some requirements for badge systems. Mozilla Open Badges. That'll so I'm not seeing anything yet. So you're in the SlideShare UI of the Google Hangout, are you? Yes. Okay. And now, can you see the first slide of Mozilla Open Badges? Not yet. Give it some time. So I take it you've just shared it. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Still just you with your big party hat. And, and there's both. Alison on Skype. Skype, what's she doing? Hi, just wondering if the Google hat is... 
We have begun. She's on Skype asking me, wh where is it? Go to Google Plus. Go to Google Plus. Check your Google Plus. Actually, I should better watch this on the phone. I'll just get back. Okay. I'm still not seeing any slide shares. You may want to hit more sharey buttons or other things. <laughs> uh, public mics. Let's. Uh, hang on, I'm dealing with Alison still. Okay. Which yeah. one? The other 66? Uh, which Google Plus? Shit, I don't know. Uh, Alison on, in my world with two L's. I typed Alison Miller and you came up. Check yeah. both. Your proper Google accounts. If I click chat, what happens? So you don't see, you don't see badges. You're not seeing that presentation. Not seeing the presentations right. yet. I'm not I'm not can't find the other windows inviting me to. Just ruined my screen recording by shifting your window. No, nothing like that. I am running two monitors though, so I just go hunting around behind all other windows. No. I'm now going to screen share, but what? That's ridiculous because then you. No, that's a bit recursive. Surely the slide here does something clever. Oh, hang on, apps. There's an apps tag down here. Ah, oh. do you have Google Effects slide share? I'll click on slide share. Ah, yeah, click apps. <laughs> click on slide share. Except. Gee, this is confusing. Oh, yeah. Request control. So I'm seeing a black screen with here on it. Written in blue text. And a broken graphic image. That's interesting. I, what's that saying up there? Requesters, Mike. I'm yes. requesting control. You don't oh, want yeah. control, we just want to see it. Yeah. Well, I'm just seeing a black screen, the word here in blue text, and a broken graphic icon. Mike C. Fang is now presenting. That's what that was. Oh, well, present away. And I now have a badge, a little button saying request control. Yeah, so, so you grab if I want it back. back. But it's yeah. so you got video and apps. I see what's going on there. Eh? So, so. Well, I'm not very impressed with the slides. You think? Do you want to change for another slide or something? Well, I've. The, the slides are quite boring. I was just using it as an example, but I'm a bit disappointed that they're not showing up. I mean, yes, what's the yeah. point? Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to kill it. Well, I probably can't, actually. If I... Ah, what? I've just made... This is really quite confusing. You've got to say. What the chat well, back is. Yes. It's all very meta. You've got all these added in apps and things. It's... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there's a gr I found just found a chat window as well. Yes, Should I be. can see that you're typing. Yes. I foolishly hit search for a slide share. Now it's gone off with the pixies. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, but I'll switch back to video. But you're in control at the moment, I think. Am I? I wonder. What, oh, okay. Yeah. So you're waiting for me to. F find that thing. So it said that you were request. it looked like you were requesting control of the slide share, but I think what it's done... I've just killed the given, slide. You've killed the slide share? Yeah, well, I thought I had. I'm not very dead. So... Ah, you are now presenting. Close. There we go. So I'll stop presenting. Uh, 
Alison Miller sends me a message on Google Mail. Uh, I've got flash problems in my browser because it's too old to update. Ah, uh, yes. Well, I'm going to invite Alison yes. all over. I'm going to call her just to Steps. quicken this up a little. Uh, anyway, the basic thing is initiating the call and recording to YouTube, which we've got. I can't imagine us wanting to do anything fancy with screen sharing or apps at, a, at an event. No. It's just inviting trouble. Hi, Alison. I'm inviting you all over again. It's Michael here. <laughs> yes, I'm now using the telephone. Isn't that interesting? And you should have just got an invitation in your Google Plus to... Ah, uh, okay. Well, that should be all right. And it, I, I got no indication of whether it was Alison Miller or Alison at Vance, sorry, Alison at, you know, the two email address. It just says Alison Miller. Ah, oh, you're in then. You're hearing me at the moment because I'm talking and Mike's here as well, but until he talks, you don't see him. I'm not seeing Alison yet. You sure she's joined the right hangout? Uh, yeah, you've got the. It's loading, Mike. It's okay. um the software's loading. She can actually see us and our hats. How lovely! But, it is. Well, it sounds all right. I mean, let's assume that it's you've got the invite. You're waiting for the right place. That sounds good. All right. Let me know. I'll hang up and Okay. Okay. Yeah, she's found it, but it's um it's installing. Oh, she hasn't done one before, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm running pre Snow Leopard on my Mac and Chrome won't update because the operating system's too old and Flash won't update because Chrome's too old and then have to do some tech building one of these days. <laughs> Sounds like it. Well, I'm going to just bring up a Google Doc here and see whether you see that. Sure. So this is going to take me to my Google Drive. Uh, this is a... Ah, oh, well, this would this will do. Can you see that? Michael Coggins added the document. Use app. Oh, yeah. away. Use app. And then before I can click it, it went. Oh, Google Docs. Here we are. So there's an app. Okay, so you've got two tabs people and apps. That seem to go through. Ah, uh, all right. So. so I yep. you... See, I'm, I'm now seeing the, the Google Doc in the screen, the main screen. I'm not. Oh, this could be my flash again. I'm getting a blank rectangle. Uh -huh. 
Ah, oh, this is this is Flash and Mac conflicting. Yeah, one of those things. So you made, that may be the reason you didn't see the slide share as well. I probably is. How about you try and share something, a doc or a anything? Good idea. So docs. No, there's no UI stuff there. It's just this blank rectangle. Docs. No, nah, not going to happen in this browser. I could share a screen. I'm just going to try something. Just going to open another. No. It's, it's bloody tricky. So, screen share. Share your screen. I want to share that. Share selected window. Oh, yeah, from blogs to bombs, that I'm seeing. All right, so that's interesting. Are you still seeing it? Yep. Yeah, so I no, I'm not looking at it. So it's you know it's a window behind Google Plus, but we can look at it and talk about it. All right, so that that works. So that's not an app; that's just a web page. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it just comes up over the main video window, replaces you. In Google Docs, <coughs> like on the Google Docs page, you're now seeing that. Oh, that's a doc, is it? I don't know what it no. is. I'm so you want, in the main display area in Google Hangout, what are you seeing? Um, I am seeing in the, the big video window that was you, now an entire window of a browser with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tabs open. The last one on some sort of a e-language recent projects from blogs to bombs. All oh, right. So, well, you'd think, you know, this is where Illuminate was really good. Illuminate, when it did screen share, the pe the person doing the sharing saw exactly what other people were seeing. Mm. So this is obviously, you're seeing a very different view to what I'm seeing. Yeah, and I can change it. I can look at myself or your one window. All right. So for oh, the benefit of when we're using it for... You know the DLDA event. We have it, yeah, pointed at a, a wiki or a PowerPoint or a, a Google Doc or something, or a nice image. So why was Stephen tried to do too much? Did he? Yeah, he did, and it all fell over badly. Ah, wait. Now, if I, I guess click... the other clever thing might be rather than use a built-in camera in a laptop, use an external webcam and point it around. Yeah, much better that idea. Might be more clever. I might. Not. Do you have such technology? Um. No, but it might tempt me to go and buy one from the business that's about to disappear. Alan's uh, Billy Hyde. Yeah, although I've got one sitting here. Let's get it off my bookshelf. But of course it doesn't work on Mac. It's a USB webcam. You'd be welcome to have a play with on a non-Windows machine, which I don't have. This guy here. Although oh, that probably, looks reasonable. Probably shitty quality compared to what's in things these days. From back at the Microsoft days, but it's got my old Microsoft name on it. But even just to practice the technique of showing it around a room, and as you say, have it trained on some sort of image before we start, and then yeah, your camera on. That's probably better than fecking with all these different features. I would suggest. It's a now you're back in the main window. Why is that? Oh, I clicked people. If I click apps, Google Docs, you don't see the Google Doc anyway. No, Google no. effects. 
So stop screen sharing so I can see you again. Where's so to office? stop the screen share, what do I do? Click it. There you go. You're back. Oh, so that's guesswork. There was no indication that I was that I'd stopped it. I, I just clicked screen share button and it turns it off. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they got a lot. You know, it look it's good in lots of ways, but it's it's got a long way to go. This little it's baby. Obviously, extensible and all sorts of things are going to change. So you can add applications from all over the place. And... Now we did a nice image to show up there. How do we? <laughs> Just the nice image rather than us. Oh, yeah, we'll just see a screen of a nice image, I guess. Well, I can just, let's see, I'll just go to a photograph that I've taken lately. <laughs> <laughs> this will do. This will surprise Alison if she makes it. Okay, screen share. But where's the full? No. Uh. Screen share. This one. Now, what do you see? Ah, yes, I see some mannequins hanging out of a tile wall. Yes, it, uh, <clears throat> but you don't see the image you've got. Yeah, you see the whole. I'd have I to go full screen. Mes it. Message from Alice. Now, if you're trying to use IE, because nothing was happening with Firefox. Hmm. Oh, it's a Chrome. Chrome. Yeah, surely is the way to go. Yes. <clears throat> this is going to be riveting viewing for someone, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. uh, she's trying. I. So the you need. I want to know how you can get a full screen image here. So you'd actually have to put the browser in full screen mode, F11, on that window. All right, yeah. F11 doesn't work in this particular window. Slideshow. Is that a browser or is that an app? I don't even know what it is. Oh, that's Windows, isn't it? Some horrible thing. <laughs> It's Windows. Can you? Is it moving now? Is it? Uh, it's still all the all the UI and ugly, bulky toolbar crap around it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that didn't work. F11 didn't work. What do you need all that shit for? Just a sharp picture. Exactly. I mean, I um, is this full screen? Actual size of image, but that doesn't. No. Wonderful. Down the bottom right, there's a picture of like a PowerPointy thing. Yeah, that just says slideshow. That takes you into oh. that's. But that's uh, not a single image, but. Not full screen. Well, I don't think you were seeing it. Are you seeing it? No, I'm seeing the same window. But minus your mouse now, interesting. I can see your mouse moving around there before. Right? And if I come back to. Oh, pictures. Can you see the images changing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you've yeah. got all that crap around it. Yeah. Anyway. Another Skype message from Alison. More action with IE. Good. Now I'm just going to copy my Snaps recording folder before I forget. Three gigabytes. Goodness Christ. So that's the other thing. The, the resources required to record a large thing like this locally are yeah. ridiculous. 
terabytes of space before you get before you know it. Check, check. Yeah, so I mean, I was using Centra this morning, just showing someone how to use Centra. And when you bring up Centra, there's, you just have an image. You can actually go full screen on the image. So that's all you've got. You just look and get an image. But not here. So yeah. So, but is this going to do the job? So we just point it. We'll have someone who's controlling it. Yep. So people can drop in live. Possibly moving a camera. I don't know if we even want to let people drop in live. Just invite ourselves and have it streamed and recorded. I think that's all you need. We don't want to get too interactive yeah. and funky. We're, all we're trying to do is some sort of live streaming, aren't we? But people can can view it live then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But they so can't come in. So it's like what you did before. You were able to see yes. it but couldn't get in. That's right. I think that's a good plan, don't you? Well, I know some people would would drive them nuts. <laughs> They'd want to come in and get in it. Uh, yeah. But then you're right. Then you've got to have someone there who's got the, the job of managing that and right. being a host. It's a bit hard. It's hard. <clears throat> This is very okay. similar to what we get if we used Ustream or Livestream. The three sites, they would pump it out live and then actually have a recording at the end. Uh huh. Find a more interesting picture. Oh, that'll do for now. Sheesh. Can you. Um, Try and either run a, a, a video or a Google Doc or something just to see whether I can see it. To run something? Okay. Anything? I'll, yeah. Uh, well, I'll do a screen share. And share a different screen. Share selected. No, you should now be seeing a nice, pretty image of the sun with Venus transiting across it. Yeah, but not in the big window. Well, I can change that. Oh, here comes Alison now. Hello, Alison. Hello. Hey for Alison. Hello, hello. Ah, good, Mike. So, Alison, we're um, we you know stumbling around in here. This has been recorded live. It's going public. <laughs> right. <laughs> So no slagging anybody off except yourself or me. How did you think right, go see. to Scotland? Uh, yeah, I only dropped out twice. That's not bad. Short dropouts. That's a lag here. <laughs> Ooh, that's, that looks short warm. Dropouts. Yeah, I need short dropouts. Oops. Only short dropouts. It's a nice photo. Yeah, we've just been. We've discovered that on a, on a Windows machine, I can't show an image that's full screen. It's got all this Windows crap around it. But Mike on a Mac can actually show an image that's just the image. Well, that's a bit unfair. I'm just showing mm -hmm. you the desktop of my second monitor. Ah, my lovely 30-inch Apple Cinema display. That every home should have. I don't know how to get rid of it though. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have to click screen share again and it turns it off. Oh, that's right. I mentioned that before. I was I was listening. Yes, there you are. You're back. Oh, you're back. Yeah, you're back. How did you get the last hairdo? Ah, that's a Google effect. Ah, okay. So you can go into Google effect and choose your own idiocy. Now, interestingly, yeah, I couldn't get this to load on Firefox. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it must be a pop. 
You don't have Chrome? Oh, headwear. Oh. The devil has arrived. Yeah. No. What's with you? <laughs> That's more of the Allison we know and love. Oh, no, I thought the master <laughs> goggles were particularly good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that. <laughs> So you could give a presentation to e assessment Scotland showing up like that would go down yeah. really well. Good. That's it. Wonder if ah. this would come that's better. That's more. That's more like it. So we thought you know this would work because you could actually point this at the, the speaker or you could point it to you know various points around the room. There's a live audio stream going. Um, it's recording while it's streaming, but Mike was suggesting we wouldn't have people coming in live. They could only view. I think that's a good idea. Okay. I think Terry would look good with these glasses. <laughs> <laughs> and he wouldn't even know we'd done it. <laughs> <laughs> well... It, 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 that raises a point, though, because he said he would prefer not to be live recorder, uh, recorded, recorded, yeah, did. didn't he? The first few minutes and the last few minutes, I think we agreed. I think he just agreed. The where we finished up, yeah, half and shot, which is fair enough. Yeah. The um, so does that mean we don't need the live broadcasting out through Blackboard Collaborate? Well, that was one of my questions. I'm not. That's one of the reasons I wanted to talk, Alison. Was I'm still a little confused about some things, and that was one of them. I don't think we do, do we? Well, if, sorry, what was that? Depends if we're confident with what this does. We haven't seen the result of a recording yet, have we, Michael? Well, no, but we'd hardly use this as a <laughs> a test case. I mean. Well, but once we can see the, the quality of the recording, we can come back in and spend 10 minutes kind of doing it properly. Yeah. So, for example, in the low light we've got now, my image of me is ridiculously pixelated. Yeah, yeah. it is. And mine always, mine always is. is. Yeah, right. I normally get quite um, stuff on the day. Ah, oh, that's the audio. Uh, so, but in terms of Blackboard Collaborate, um, beaming yeah. out the the um, presentation through Blackboard Collaborate, if if um, Jerry doesn't want to be recorded, there's there's no point in um, going ahead with the the deal with eSkills, basically. Um. Well. I don't mind being recorded. I'm sure Mike doesn't mean recorded. You probably don't, and there might be other bits of the day that we don't need both. We don't need Google Hangout plus Blackboard Collaborate, obviously. Um, and I can't look. Once we use Blackboard Collaborate, I think it is a my name's still a little bit uncomfortable even of making this a, a public event and not having anyone and blocking people from coming in. Like it's just viewing yeah. only, but and I wonder if we can put up a sign somewhere saying, Look, there's no one kind of hosting it, you're free to come and but then you know, can people actually talk and then interrupt? If they're just text chatting to themselves, that's okay. And then is this going to be viewable to people who are present on the day, on large screen or even in a corner on a laptop screen? It's complicated if you start to do all of that, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So is your concern, Michael, that because Google Hangout is meant to be collaborative, shutting people out isn't a good look, basically? Yeah. And I know how I feel. I mean, I did earlier. I said I, you know, I know other people who would hate it. And but I'm I'm talking of myself. If I heard about an event that was on Google Hangout and I came in and all I could do was watch, I'd give it three minutes and piss off. 
Yeah. So maybe what should we be thinking about one of the free streaming things like Ustream or Livestream? Or have we then gone complete circle and might as well use Blackboard Collaborate because we've got someone who's candy with it? The beauty of this is that it records as you go. Mm -hmm. As does um, one of the ones. Um, I think it's livestream.com. Uh -huh. And so I'd go for one of those because... So you're not, yes, advertising one thing and then giving them another experience. Yeah, that's a fair point. So I think I'd prefer to have people be able to come in as long as they can't, you know, talk and interrupt the room. They can, like if three or four people happen to come in and start chatting to each other, well, fine. But, okay, well, if that happens, do we get to control what goes out, though? Uh, no, because I'll be <laughs> chatting to the recording, yes. won't I? Yes, good point. And again, you don't want to mute them or anything else, so it seems a bit... Well, look, it's... Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? And how likely are people to come? One, how many? Two, right. three. If they come, are they likely to kind of... If they come, they're probably going to say things that are useful. It's unlikely that we're going to get twits who are going to come in and sabotage. Not so much sabotage, but maybe like we are. Is this thing on and watch this? And I mean, if they're not comfortable with it, they'll be asking questions and, and expecting directions. It might be okay for your or my session, but yeah. And that's only we're talking about Jerry, right? A few minutes at the was it the end or the beginning? The end. Mine, yours, Alison, and yours, Mike. That's that's what we're talking about, isn't it? Yep. I'm fairly used to, and Alison, you would be too, I'm, I'm fairly used to like, doing presentations in those conditions. If people come in and have questions or things to say, you just kind of build it in. So you do integrate the external participation into your presentation or your rave. Yep. Um, what do you think? Yeah. I, I think, well, I'm just thinking, in, I, it's it's. I would be just. I wouldn't be able to manage if it was me speaking. Speaking to a crowd was all I would be able to manage. I wouldn't be able to manage also trying to incorporate people ad hocly um, online. You, I, I think is that okay. what you're saying? But uh, well, that's if you had yeah. somebody asking a question with silly eyes and and a moustache. <laughs> you do know, she's like, I could spend the whole session just playing. I didn't, you know, randomize. But that's why, and why, like, so then, I mean, you would want people to, you would want people to be able to ask questions at the right time and have a text chat so that. You know, they, that, that could be part of the question taking. Or so I suppose you, really what you want to do is um, ask you know, why, why you have... I was just going to say, it'd be just... Why? The question is, why are you having the live streaming? Well, so that is the question. So is the purpose of the live streaming to have a product at the end that you can use for promo purposes and I know we talked about that so yes it is but do you also balance that with allowing people to come in ad hoc and contribute with all the, the possible confusion that can cause I think you might want to allow that for one session for the, for what session? Oh, for just one rather than all of them. 
Mm. That's what you have to remember is the people are just dropping in ad hocly aren't aren't financially contributing. So if you're if you're a person in the crowd and you you paid to attend, um, and then all of a sudden you've got somebody coming left to centre, you know, quite disruptive. You know, <laughs> how would you feel? <laughs> This one always comes up, doesn't it, with conferences? Any session where there's money involved, should the online people get in for free? Yeah. Oh no, no, I'm not asking. I'm not asking should they get in for free. I, I'm a big believer that you know that they that beaming out. I, I'm a big believer in beaming out of conferences where possible. Um, one, if the if the conference is viable without, you know. Once you've got your numbers and the conference is viable, that's what we've done with our ePortfolio conferences the last couple of years. You know, the last week or two before the conference, we've promoted that there'll be an iLive streaming, and that's because we know we've got our numbers to to make it viable. And we didn't charge anybody. That doesn't worry me. But if somebody was coming in free and creating a disruption to the experience of people who are in the room who have made their for and have paid to go there. I think that that's a bit unfair to those people who are in the room. So usually they're on the side, they're not even really noticeable that they're, that they're even part of the event. Yeah, so they could just be text chatters. Just have a show. Yeah, it depends um, what we're doing. They, they may contribute something to the event. It's not necessarily just people disrupting and getting a free ride, is it? But how, how would they contribute to the event? Remembering that you've got very kind of tight timelines um, with all of these sessions too. There's not a lot of fat to be mucking around with stuff. So you know the main that generally um, the reasons we've main we've live streamed out is because that allows more people to get access to the information than what previously would have happened. The the main main reason we've previously done it is because you get a live recording of the presentation, and if the presentation's good, then people will go back to that presentation more than once. So it's not about interacting for people to be interacting. Just as this, it, it, unless the presentation was set up that you were going to be interacting with people in the room. So generally, it's about getting a, a access to people outside who can't physically attend the event for whatever reason, and to get that sort of I call it a live case study or live presentation that people can have as a recording, and you can point people to in the future. If you want a live interactive stuff, you're talking about a webinar then. Yeah, and, and unless we actively promote the fact that there's a live stream that people can participate in, very few people are going to come in, you know, one or two. I mean, no one's come in here in the last half hour. Right. And I'd be quite happy to say, you know, look, to those who maybe present on Google Plus, you know, welcome, chat amongst yourselves, you might be paying attention to your conversation but you will be part of the recording, thanks for coming and then move on. That could work. Yeah, so this will not be on a large screen, is that right? No, I yeah, that, so. yeah. Can I also ask then, with the recording, where does the recording end up on YouTube, does it? Yep. yep, this will be on Michael's YouTube as soon as we hang up. Right, okay. So some poor bugger's going to fall across this at some stage. Right, hang on. <laughs> hang on. <laughs> right, now I feel better. <laughs> okay, yes. so, and and who's, so whoever who's, who's, starts the hangout, that's right. where the recording ends up. Okay. okay. So, so does Vanguard Visions have a, um, a Google channel? We do, I think. So, so that would be the, the logical. Oh no, sorry, it doesn't have a Google Plus. Uh, Alison at Vanguard does, I think. That's why I was asking you because when I clicked on Google Plus, it was asking me to upgrade or something. I'm thinking, oh, I don't think I've had to do this before. Um, so yeah. Okay, so let me just verify then about that we definitely don't need Stefan and we don't need Blackboard Collaborate. We're just going to use something. Um, 
kind of fluid like this. And then when you're talking, you have to have that funny hat back on, Michael. Where did it go? Yeah, I lost, I just, it. I lost interest. <laughs> 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 Let's look at the recording of this, and then I now I know a bit more about how this works. I think I'd like just to do a 10-minute test in here with a maybe a PowerPoint and a, a website. And and look at the recording of that and see what it looks like. I think it's important that it that it's reasonable quality, yeah. and if it doesn't come up with, at reasonable quality, then we can think about Blackboard Collaborate. Yeah. Did you want to investigate yeah. Ustream or Livestream.com, or is that too much technology? Yeah. yeah. I noticed the university used one of those for the vice chancellor's address, and it seemed to do all the right things. Well, I think it's good to know about these things. So, if we, you know, if you have a go, Mike, or you just send me an email when you're in there, and I'll jump in and have a go. Yeah. All right. There's a whole lot of other stuff that we tried before you got here, Alison. We got thoroughly confused about about who could see what. It's uh, not a perfect tool. It's a very good tool, but it's a lot of things are quite confusing. Indeed. All right. So are we okay for now? Let's look at the recording of this and then... Then yeah, get back and make a call on what we do. The, the other benefit of involving a, another person is that they have the AV skills and the, the time and the role on the day, don't they? I'm just trying to think yeah. who's, exactly who's going to do what at what time of day and how is that all going to work. Well, I think that's a conversation we need to have, you know, the operational stuff. Yeah, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't throw the Blackboard stuff out just yet, Alison, until we've made a call on the resourcing of anything like this. It would be nice to have someone responsible solely for the AV stuff, whether it's this or Blackboard or whatever. Yeah, I think so. Do you know what Stefan would like to do? Both. <laughs> Keep him amused all day long. Oh, Stefan, yeah, he loves that stuff. He'd yeah. sit there with his two screens and running both things and communicating to people who came by. But let's just leave that thought on hold. Okay. I need to love and leave you guys. I'm being called away. Okay. Good um, evening. It's going to be lousy... Um, plane flying weather in the next few days, Mike. If you try and fly your plane in the next few days, you'll lose it. Yes, that's why I'm out in the shed with my up to my elbows in carbon fibre building things. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Okay, catch you guys. See you, Mike. See you. And see you, Alison. So Mark, yeah, okay. Mark, um, uh, yeah, Michael, I, I was just going to quickly have a look. Um, I thought I had an email from Doug. Before he, no, he did, he did, he did, he did, he did. Let me just see. Okay, um, yeah, he's saying that um, it would be four hundred and fifty dollars to have Stefan do that for the day. It's quite Stefan time, one hundred and fifty dollars per hour. Jeez, oh. Um So we do a fifty-fifty split. So that would be four four hundred and fifty dollars for him to come in. This would include any liaison time, setting up prep, plus eSkills promotion materials being available on the day. So that's what they're looking to charge okay. to um, have Stephen involved. I mean, when you. It's hard, isn't it? So there's the money aspect. There's the is Stefan the right kind of person? I know he's got the technical skills. Um, actually, I think he'd be good. What do you think? I'm not saying yes, we do it, but um, I think you, well, maybe as we you should said, talk have a look at the this. video. Cause yeah. Because when I've had a look at it, it's it's pretty grainy. But again, it would be. Do you want a talking head, or do you want um, do you want the slides in the presentation? 
you don't want a talking head. We were talking about that. That's what we were trying to do. You know, how to, and that's what I would like to do. Do a little session here where what's in the screen, on the screen front and center, is um, an image or a slide or a website, not a talking head. Yeah. So, and yeah, we need to experiment a bit. So, when do we need to make the decision about that using Stefan? Well, I said I'd get back to him as a, a, when I could, but he's got it in his diary at the moment. So at this stage, um, he, like he's he's booked in at this stage. So it's more about when, whether we don't need him. Um, I'd like to have a, a chat sometime in the next early next week about a number of things, and nothing dramatic, just to clear my head about a number of things. Have you got time, Alison, in the next next week? Next week. Let's have a quick look. Um, in, in person, Michael? Yes. And I don't mind coming um, to wherever. Um... Okay, so at this stage, um, I don't know. I'm I, I'm nine, I'm coming into the city for a little while on Thursday, but I need to wrap it around a couple of other things, and it might not be. And I because I need to drop my mum off to get an appointment and pick her back up again, and in between that, uh, bef uh, before and after that time, I need to be in an online webinar, so I can't do anything on Thursday. Oh. Nothing Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. Well, I'm just having a look. Monday, I've I've got this, I've got this study. I'm going to get this assignment in as well, which kind of cuts into everything as well. There may yeah. be an induction for the National Vetty Learning Strategies um, projects for South Australia that may be on Tuesday at Sunny Bray. Um, and so I could do something after then, but I don't know. It, we're still waiting on confirmation on some times and stuff. Otherwise, it would be um, it, it, uh, later in the afternoon, or sort of after lunch on Wednesday. So, we're, what's your Wednesday look like? Clear. I mean, sc <laughs> Skype would be the easiest. Because then I, it doesn't matter when I can just plug it in and, and do it. I don't have All to right. travel half an, half an half an hour. Something Skype or this hangout. Would, uh, Skype's probably the better one because it's um, you don't want it to be published to public. What you're going to just be discussing. And so, so um, did you say after lunch Wednesday? Yeah, half well, something one. like half past one or one o'clock. What suits you? In. Which one, doll? Uh, half past one. All right, you're going to send the email invite? Okay. Let me just make that 1.30. I will. Now, just one more thing here before we go. If I share this Google Doc, do you see it? Do you see a Google Doc now? Not right now. Do you see something happening? Is the screen changing? No, just not yet. So you still see me. Hang on, hang on. Google Apps, Google Doc. I'm still seeing you at the moment. I'm just. I went down to Apps and Google Docs to see if your Google Doc come up. Mm -hmm. mm, pardon me. Uh, Google Doc. Mm. No, it didn't for Mike either. So this is weird, you know, like what's the point? So it's not exactly, um, I guess if you have, if you, if this is a shared document, maybe then. I've got one, it says request access. So I've got one in there, hang out, the advantage, is that what you're, is that what you're trying to show me, the advantage, the advantage of moving of to moving. Middle to, yeah. All right, so now because I don't have, I have to request a, a um, so I've sent a request to have to for you. To oh God, yes, that's come through. Share it with me. So first of all, I do, yeah. So 
this is really clunky. I mean, I get this. I get the message elsewhere. You can, you are the owner. Has asked you. So I've got to actually share the doc with you. Has yeah. asked you, you can add these people in sharing settings. That's taking me to Google Docs. Uh, clunky, clunky. Add these people. At least your email address is in there. Share and save. And that's that's uh, that's um, the same as if you share something in Mahara using the Google Apps. You have to actually have it published to the web before it will show up in your Mahara. So let me just try right. and the advantages. All right, it's thinking. Yep, it's coming up now. All right, so that solves that problem. Something's coming. Oh. Yep. So you have to go to do Google Docs, and then it was sort of um, something I had to click on. Ooh, the advantages for teachers, advantages for students. Now I'm going to somewhere else now. I'm going to slide share because Mike couldn't see this, and we couldn't work out whether or not it was because of his uh, okay. lack of flash on an Apple so machine. So Mike, Mike, up. right, right. Well, oops, something came up and it's gone again. So I go to apps, it said. So I go to apps, slide share. So I click on slide share. Yeah. Enable. And again, slide share. Need your permission in order to start. I allow access. So hang on, it's just doing its wee thing. It's loading. Uh, request control. Okay, so at this stage, it's just um, Mozilla Open Badges. Oh, okay. So you can see it. Oh, this one he did at Epic. Well, I saw him present that. Wait, did you, did you pick this for a reason? I saw him pick, present this pick, live at Epic. Picked it at random. Wow. I just That's interesting. Typed, searched for badges and up it came. And look. He so yeah, he, he presented that at the Epic conference when I was just then in July. So are you seeing these slides as I go through them or are you still yep. back at the screen? You are, okay. Well, so it was Mike's yep. slides. Leap, leap, leap 2A. Yep. All right. So that's all I need to know for now. <laughs> so I'm going to have a look so at this recording. So is that what you would suggest that they would use? Well, it's um, it's either that or well, let's while you're here, if you don't want to rush off, I'm going to open up a PowerPoint slide of whatever. Um, this is what I was doing this morning. Now, if I make that full screen and come back to Google plus screen share you know how in PowerPoint you've got full screen view I ah there it is share selected window What's happening now? I just saw you using Centra and introduction. So you do you see that in the display area? Yep. Yeah. All right. So it do does work in pa in in show mode. Right. So that works. What happens if you move the slides? Uh. Good question. So I can't do it here. Can I do it back in PowerPoint? Just do page down. Did it, did it change? Not yet. So what happens when you hit your page down key or your arrow down key on your um, keyboard? Oh yeah, where are you? Oh, so you did this to people in South Australia because there's a map of South Australia. Yes, I did. Getting right, started. So, okay, so you are sick. Yeah, okay. So I have to change it. And if I just, um, yeah, let's try the down key. 
I think I've got to be in that. You'd need split screens. You'd have the PowerPoint on one. Yeah, but you know. Not even holding the down key works. Holding the down key. No, no. You know, sorry, using your arrow keys, they're not working. No. Mm. Oh, but that. No, let's just. Well, it's it's kind of weird because you feel like you want to go back to the beginning, like it's Illuminate or something, but there is no beginning. <laughs> it's you know you just kind of click on a Google Doc, all right? Back to Google Doc. I presume you now see. Can you still see that? I guess so. Oh, I'm see. Yeah, I can still see. Um, use whatever you're sharing. And now you now it's black and it's coming. Imagine it's coming. No, now it's back there. Yeah. Okay. What happens if I hit ignore? Oops. Oh, sorry, I just want to test that. Okay. Then. So what's war light then? Do you know? Don't know. It's a new one that they've added in here. And to add something on that kind the new tube obviously takes you to you know a screen area where you or you take takes you to YouTube where you can play one or we'll listen and watch together oh need your permission to start okay all right so it's not too bad it's got a reasonable amount of functionality you wonder how well, how many people you get in here before it gets wobbly I've had about six, not me, but I've been in a hangout with about six people and I was amazed at at least the video and audio just kept going beautifully. It's certainly better than Skype for that. Okay. So stop screen sharing, that means I come back. All right, well, I'm going to stop also this we've, here. We've up, at this stage, we've got the third. Oh, how many? Thirteen. Okay. So it's nearly twenty, nearly 25%, isn't it? Yeah. And we've got a couple of months, a bit less than. Yep. Yep. So, um, Amy sent out a whole heap of individual emails this week, so they would have just gone out today, yesterday, and today. So they've individualised that, and then what else? We're just going to send out a, a, an update from um, from our to our own list. Um, you've got the flyer, so I'm not sure if you do any non-tape presentations. There's the, I've printed out the, the one that um, Marinda's done. Oh, you won't see it there. Um, so there's a flyer to do there. And then um, go and see. It. I think I might be writing an article for the eLearn magazine, or not based on the actual event, but um, might attract some more people through the actual article being uh, mm -hmm. around the digital educational media trend. So we'll still do lots of um, pushing and media and start to. I need to get some confidence in actually ringing people about sponsorship. So I've sent out a couple of emails today, see how that goes. But it's interesting, the most of the people are from the university sector. Well, that's okay. They must have the money. Or it's more relevant to them. Well, I've got less. I'm actually starting to feel... Um, hampered by the fact that this is public. Why? It's never worried me before. I, mean, I'm, I guess because I want to mention names of people. It's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if we were in Skype, there's something else, a couple of things I would say. But... Um, and that, I mean, that's a common thing. If if you if people are using um, you know, any kind of recording, people will think differently and speak differently. 
Yeah, but it doesn't normally bother me. But for, I, I guess maybe I'm just being I'm being sensible because there's, there's something I want to share with you, but it really shouldn't be public. It might not matter, but it's better that it's not shared as a as a bit of public information. Yeah, and I agree. You can stick it in the Skype text chat. <laughs> Well, yes, I could. <laughs> That'd be interesting. I oh, know it's too hard to type. <laughs> Give it all the subtlety of the but tone Mike's, of voice. But yeah, Mike. It says Mike is hanging out with one other person, and then um, Mike Seafang's written as a comment to the hangout. Weird. Now I'm ears dropping on a hangout. <laughs> I was just in. <laughs> so. Yeah. See, uh, there's one viewer. Can you see that at the top right? Uh, hang on, let me come back there. One viewer in the top right. Um, Maybe no. I again only see that because I started the hangout. You're the hangout guru. Do, Do you see, see an embed button no, up there in the top right? I, um, is it the top right or the other top right? I did see embed somewhere before, didn't I? Is that in the settings? No, I've got it as a button in the toolbar no. across the top. Okay. I don't, oh, okay. So, no, I've just got chat, screen share, slide share, Google Docs, Google Effects, YouTube, Warlight, add app. Yeah, right. Next to that, I have That's a button scary, which says really. one viewer. But I can't ah, tell who that is. Spoken. That's not a link. It, yeah, but the, and that would be Mike. We haven't had this so even so you can go to the live recording. Mm. No, there's no indication of how many is viewing. All right, this is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh yeah, so that notifications come out. All right, so that's pretty cool. So if whatever you're burning. We cannot wait. <laughs> what did, we, did you see it? Send any. I just don't want to forget to print my diary. What did we say? One thirty on Wednesday in Skype. Yeah. Yeah, and I haven't said that yet. Um, that's all right. I've got it now. Coughlin. Okay. All right. Well, I might love you as and leave you. Um, okay. As I says, I think you'll find that. It, the, the quality of the actual recording is not that great. I shall see. And so that, especially if you're going to be doing it at a distance. We, yeah. All right. I'm going to hit the end broadcast button. Okay. See you uh, somewhere else online. Sorry, I'm still playing in there. <laughs> well, I guess Thanks you well, once I go, I guess... It might well, we'll shut see what happens. Okay. You head off. Yeah. Okay. Cheerio. Bye.